What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the all new 2022 Subaru WRX. Big shout out and thank you to Randy, Mary, and Subaru for providing this new car for today's video. Definitely take a look at their website, link down below. And the model that we're looking at today is finished off in WR Blue Pearl, has the short throw shift package, and has an MSRP at $32,200. Underneath the hood of this all new 2022 Subaru WRX, you're gonna find the 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer four cylinder engine. It pumps out 271 horsepower with 258 pound feet of torque. And this one's paired to a six speed manual transmission and sends all of the power to all four wheels. Curb weight is around 3,300 pounds and it can do zero to 60 in five and a half seconds quarter mile time at 13.9 seconds at 101 miles per hour and it'll even top out at 155 miles per hour. It runs on a 16.6 gallon fuel tank and can achieve 19 miles per gallon in the city with 26 out on the highway. Overall length is 183.8 inches with wheelbase at 105.2. Width is 71.9 and height is 57.8 inches. And now onto the styling with the redesigned 2022 Subaru WRX. This is a very aggressive looking rally car, very sporty and sharp lines all throughout. We get a nice set of LED headlights that have a pretty cool C shape to them for a DRL and the projector beam right in the center. You get really sharp lines cutting towards the center and then a lot of black plastic trim in the lower side area. You can see a front splitter finished off in more of the plastic black and a large opening to allow cooling to the radiators. We get a metallic gray upper grill with your Subaru badge right in the center and it allows even more cooling to the engine. Has a really good front end design with the new sharp lines and of course we still get that traditional top mounted scoop for the inner cooler to keep that charged air nice and cool. Really good look from up front, I like the modern design. And then as we make our way to the side profile, a very controversial new design is of course all this black plastic. You can see the front and rear fender arches are finished off with this material. It does have a functional air outlet to allow pressurized air to escape and it does have a somewhat golf ball texture which Subaru says improves aerodynamics. You can see that same material for the entire lower side skirt and then the rear fender is finished off in that same trim. In person, it's not that bad. However, I would like to see that all in body colored. I think that would spruce it up and make it look a little bit nicer. However, it's actually pretty sporty looking. I like the sharp, razor sharp edges. The WRX gets a set of 17 inch wheels in all four corners, finished off in a gunmetal gray. They're a multi-spoke design. I think they contrast very nicely with the blue paintwork. We get body colored on the side mirrors along with some plastic trim. Then you get body colored door handles. There's all black trim around the windows. You can see how the roof is finished off and more body colored. I really like this sharp line cutting its way through the side. It even dips a little bit underneath the mirror and it cuts towards all of the handles. You can see how the rear fender arch is pretty sharp. It bulges outwards to give it a wider appearance. I think there's a lot more style comparing it to the previous generation. And then at the back side of the new WRX, we get these really cool looking LED taillights. And if you look really closely, it kind of looks like lava on the inside. Very nice design, the way everything is set up. You can see gloss black trim cutting through the entire side. And then you can see Subaru right in the center. We get the WRX badge as well as Subaru all wheel drive. And then in the rear, you get a huge plastic diffuser. Again, it's very controversial the way it's designed. That is a lot of plastic back here. I do like the quad dual exhaust system. You can see all the contours to give it a pretty aggressive look. However, that is a lot of black back here, but it does tie in really nicely with all the black trim. So there's a good look at the exterior along with some of the performance specifications on the all new Subaru WRX. Comment below, what do you guys think of the exterior styling? There is an awful lot of black plastic. I think it body colored would look a lot nicer. It's not bad in person, looks a lot better comparing it to when I just saw it in pictures and on videos. However, I do like the extra sharpness with the styling and everything. Front end looks amazing. Just, I think there's a little bit too much black plastic. I think body color would really spruce it up. With that said, we do get the standard basic key. We can go ahead and unlock the car and just grabbing the handle, we can check out this all new interior. This all new WRX gets a black fabric interior with some red accents all throughout, as well as some carbon fiber look trim. 
taking a look at the door panel finished off in mostly black plastic however we have some really cool fabric in the center window controls mirror controls as well as your release handle then that nice carbon fiber type design you can see our grab handle as well as some vinyl with some padding for your armrest and then a little bit of storage down below this does have manual seats with all the controls on the left and then really nice bolsters i like the way they're set up you can see the two-tone fabric with the black as well as light gray I really like that, especially with the red stitching. You can see the bolsters making their way up the backrest. Really sporty look. I love the red stitching to the headrest. And then we get a black leather steering wheel with a flat bottom, more of the carbon fiber look, as well as red stitching. And then now inside the new WRX, keep my foot on the clutch. We can go ahead and turn the ignition and fire it up. And then if we go ahead and take a look at the gauge cluster, we get the tack over on the left side with speedometer on the right and a small LCD display right in the center. You can configure that using these controls on the left side of the steering wheel and you can see just a few things that will pop up. You can see your tire pressure, some trip information, MPG, and then a nice boost gauge right in the center, which is a really cool touch to see, and then just a few others. Taking a look at the steering wheel now, we get some Bluetooth and audio controls on the left, then cruise control settings over on the right side. We get the turn signal stock and headlights on the left, and then wiper blade controls on the right. We do get your trunk release button and traction control and interior dimming, some nice gray trim, a cool design for these air vents, and then you can see some black all along the dashboard. We get more of this plastic black along the dash with a cool 3D look over on this far right side. And then in the center, we have two separate screens. This is a pretty cool design. Up top is kind of your typical infotainment. We have an apps icon that'll pop up. We get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and then you can swipe over, add some shortcuts. Down below that, we get some climate control settings. Just tapping any of these, it pops up with more of a large screen. You can adjust your fan speed. You can also get your different zones and everything, temperature control. So you get a really cool toggle. You can kind of slide this left and right. You can also swipe over and see a few more things. There's car settings. Everything will come up that you can kind of adjust all throughout the vehicle, exiting it out of there. And then there's also driving statistics that'll come up. You can see a few more information and then maintenance schedule will pop up as well. We do get a physical button on the far right and far left. Then if I go ahead and put the clutch in and go into reverse, your backup camera is gonna pop up on the upper screen. Pretty good HD view along with some guidelines Then going back into neutral. Below that, we get a plug on the left side with some USBs and auxiliary, and then a small area for some extra storage. I really like the shifter design with the leather and stitching. Get your shift pattern up on top with the STI name written out. Then you can see we get a manual parking brake along with a little bit of storage and then two cup holders. If I open up this, we got a small amount of storage space in here, but it's nice to see that. And then moving over to the glove box, a pretty large bucket as you would expect. And then one last look at the all new Subaru WRX's interior. It's nice and sporty, especially comparing it to the previous generation, which was kind of getting a little basic. These new seats look fantastic and I love just how large these bolsters are comparing it to the previous one. There is a lot of familiarity, however, comparing it to the older car, but I like the nice updates. And then we get your dome lights up top along with the mirror. And then taking a look at the rear seat space, if I grab the door handle and open it up, the door panel's finished off just like we saw up front. And then we even get all the same material in back. This can seat three people. I love how they have the two-tone fabric and all the stitching. And then there are some blanks, so higher trim levels will get a few luxuries back here. All right, so sitting now in the back seat of the WRX. So this is a pretty roomy sedan. I'm five foot 11. I have about an inch of headroom and even my knees with my driver's seat set at my height, I have room back here. So this is actually a pretty good car for four people to take on some sort of trip. Good armrests, good windows. And I even like how you have a grab handle up top with a hook. And then pretty open back here with all the glass to make it a pretty decent four door car. And then taking a look at the trunk space, I can just hold the button on the key fob. It's gonna automatically pop and open all the way up. This is a pretty large trunk, very practical car as you can see. Really wide in here and a pretty tall ceiling and a lower load floor. So it's nice to see just how much space there is. And then after manually folding down the rear seats, you can see just how much more storage space you're gonna get in the back of a WRX. They do fold down nice and flat, maybe a very large opening into the trunk and still a ton of space up in front. All right guys, let's set off now in the new WRX. 
So I've driven the older ones quite a bit over the years and they're pretty fun little cars. So this one's kind of basically all new, redesigned, a good step up. Already I'm noticing it seems like it's a little bit smoother of a car. I think they did some good revisions to make it feel a little bit of a step above as far as like the ride quality and things like that. It's pretty quiet, we're going about 45, 50 miles an hour. Not really noisy or anything, it's really smooth the way the suspension is. Same view out that we're used to with any WRX with a huge windshield, really large side windows, a really good view over your left and right shoulder. So pretty normal, very familiar of course. When you're in it, I like the shifter, the short throw, it does give you some feedback. You kinda gotta push it into each gear. So there's a little bit of some extra muscle you gotta put into it, which I think is a nice touch. And I like how the clutch pedal has a little bit more feedback. There's just a little bit of a bubble when you press the clutch. I feel like the older one, there was just no feedback. So it was a little vague feeling. So this one feels like it's a little bit heavier of a clutch in a good way, it feels nice. The steering wheel feels really nice. I like how thick it is. So it's a pretty good seating position and driver position. The new seats are a huge step up. I never liked the old ones because they had no bolsters to them. It was just like sitting on a lawn chair. These ones going around a turn, you actually feel the bolsters holding your body. That is a great upgrade. The power delivery is also really smooth. It doesn't really just hit you down low and then taper off. It seems to carry its way pretty nicely up through the revs. Obviously we're not going too crazy being a brand new car, but I like the new power delivery. It's not a crazy amount difference than the old one. I believe they're like the same zero to 60 and uh, pretty much the same power, but I think the power delivery feels a lot smoother. When you take some turns, it's pretty responsive actually, not really much body roll, even for being bone stock. But when you take a turn, it's pretty pinpointy and the car really uh, does what you want it to do. I like that a lot. You get a little bit of that boxer noise to the way the exhaust and engine sounds. It's not crazy loud or anything, but I like how you still get a little bit of that familiar sound. You know, you're in something that has a different engine but not bad cruising. It's not a crazy fast car, you know, five and a half seconds isn't anything too special as far as performance goes, but this is a car that's really well balanced. That's what these cars are designed for. They're just fun, you can have fun in them, not really gonna be breaking speed limits, you know, in four seconds or something crazy, like really fast cars, but it's nice with a car like this. You can play with the engine, use it around town, you can rev it out, and you're not gonna be hitting triple digit speeds all too quickly. Pretty easy to rev match as well. Then let's get back up to some speed. We'll go down to second gear. I like the boost gauge in the center. Seems pretty meaty for sure. Just seems a little bit better than the older car. But certainly a nice smooth car to drive. I feel like a lot of revisions have happened to make the new WRX just that much better. All right, flipping the cameras around to my perspective now, getting my honest thoughts. Love the turbo power. Into third gear, let's check out a turn. Pretty nicely balanced. You know, this is one of those cars you can just smile and have fun driving it. You can kind of beat on it, you know, drive it, getting into those higher RPMs and really rip on it and use all the power. So I like how this is kind of one of those just cars you can just have fun with. Uh, this would be a really good first car, first man transmission car to kind of get your toes wet in what it's like to drive something that's pretty sporty. So I've always been a fan of these. And I feel like the revisions, it really is a nicer car than before. Interior, it's a nice step up too. It does look very familiar, even though it's very different. But I just like how it is updated to where it feels much more modern. Of course, if you do get the nicer trim level, you get a much nicer screen with one big one. But even this one being more of a basic one, you know, I don't really even mind, you know, manual seats, cloth and stuff like that. This is just a good bang for the buck, fun, sporty car that's still usable. I mean, you got four doors, you got the big trunk. It's a normal car at the end of the day, just a basic sedan, but you get all the fun, sporty aspects and it really is a fun toy to play with. <laughs> The exterior styling is the biggest controversial thing. Of course, that has been all over the place. Uh, people hating it, people loving it. 
I'm kind of in between. I'm not the biggest fan of all the black plastic. If it was body color, I think it would look a lot better. And even though Subaru says the golf ball texture improves aerodynamics, I don't think anybody would actually notice a difference. This isn't a Formula One car going around the track at 200. <laughs> but it's cool looking. I like the sharper design. I think it does look more up to date than the older car. Just I think there's gonna be a lot of aftermarket body color body kits for this. And I think that's gonna be a big plus. First gear is still pretty short. You know, you'll hit redline pretty quickly in it. So this is one of those cars, once you get into second gear, then you can more play with the gear ratios. And I think they're nicely balanced. And then when we do get into just normal traffic day to day, people buying this, they're gonna use this as their daily. It's a car that you can comfortably drive. While there is more weight to the clutch pedal, better feedback, it's not at all heavy to where you're gonna be annoyed driving this in traffic. The shifter itself, nicely weighted, uh, really notchy, really notchy transmission, so I like that aspect to it. But it's a nice car, it's a nice newer version. It's unfortunate the STI is no longer, so this is as good as it gets. Uh, kind of a letdown, quite honestly, because the old STI was a really fun car and a nice step up from this. There's no drive modes or anything in the car, as far as I can tell. So you are stuck with, this is what this car is. So I feel like Subaru kind of did tone down what this car's name is, and now it's not anything crazy of a high-performance sports car at all. It's just a nice entry-level sporty car, because this is all you get, just the WRX. So I think that's a little bit of a letdown. I'd love to see a new STI, because the old STI was a lot of fun with the drive modes, the way that performed comparing it to a WRX. It was a big step up in performance. This car, I wouldn't mind that next step up, and I know a lot of buyers are going to be really craving the next step up. But nonetheless, for those of you looking for a good entry-level performance car, I mean, this is one to get. With the all-wheel drive, you know you have the safe control, you can pretty much do what you want with it, take it anywhere. And with the turbo power plant, it gets out of its own way, and it's fun to play with. And the gear ratios, and especially in the manual transmission, I mean, so easy to rev match it, pass a car, play with it. It's just a car you can have some fun with. But that is it then for the all new Subaru WRX. Really cool car. I like the upgrades, I really do. It's a nicer car than the old one. Just wouldn't mind some more body color on the outside. <laughs> but if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for plenty more content. And then a big shout out and thank you to Randy Marion Subaru for providing this car for today's video. Definitely check out their website, link down below. That is it guys, I'll see you in the next video. Okay.